everybody. Hopefully I timed out not so poorly. We actually got into a second game pretty quick after the last, so I guess two TVT games fit into the one TVT of this series, Rung vs. Natural. In the top left, up one, he is the Blue Terran, Ryung. And his opponent on the bottom right, one of the better up-and-coming players. We'll talk about him more in a moment. It's the Red Natural. Oh, Nichi So, N Natural has really impressed us. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with about every Terran I can think of in the Elima League. You know, he's fought against Gumiho, Ryung, probably beyond many times. I, and he's, he's in some instances, won where we didn't expect him to, and in others, at least held his own despite still losing series. Without a doubt in my mind, this nameless Terran has only... Maybe I'm thinking of like uh, coffee is the only other guy I can think of that's really impressed us to have no name attached to him. Yeah, Chan Kim impressed as well versus Taryn. Well, so I'm kind of jaded on this, right? We've talked about him a couple times, but honestly, outside of that one performance, Chan Kim hasn't shown anything too excellent since then. I'm hoping it wasn't a one hit wonder, and I'm hoping it's just been like a bit of bad luck since then. But Chan Kim is definitely someone else on that list where you're like the the Look at these up and comers. Yeah. Well, natural, I think, could take on a lot of other the Illumi League TV tiers, like Gumiho, Alive, Keen. Uh, Ryung is probably, Ryung and Bion, probably two people you don't want to meet for TVT, especially. Bion did not join today, by the way. If you uh, were wondering just about him or if he got knocked out already. Nope, just didn't join is, today. Is I mean, he's already locked into the monthly. Well, when does he travel? A lot of people are starting to leave over. Like Zest and others are starting their journey over to America, right? You might For be BlizzCon? right about that. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. I was just thinking. <laughs> uh, you might be right about that because the round of 16 starts... Thursday? No. Maybe that early. Maybe? Crap, I don't remember. I know there's a reason we didn't want to do a couple of things. Yeah, it, it does start Thursday. I was right. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Oh, I was proud of myself. So yeah, that would make sense, because they need uh, the time to get used to jet lag, of course. They want them in their top form for the start of BlizzCon. That's probably exactly why. That also probably means he won't be participating in the monthly finals, but he's already locked in for the grand finals. <laughs> Is anyone that you would guess just automatically would be Byun. Anywho, we do have a bit of harassment coming in here. Natural trying to get this command center finished so we can just turn an orbital and lift. Fortunately, not quite working out that way. That SCV was like preemptively pulled, just figuring it would be killed, I guess. Probably could just get the command center. But the Widow Mine, once Ryung's baited into it, should save Natural. Unfortunately, he's not being baited into it. Uh, okay. I guess he wanted to check to see if it had been picked up by the medevac yet. A Helena Naturals gets across the map. There's a wall off, so we're gonna go scout, and that's that's important, you know. There's no banshee fallout that you're not predicting. We won't get any SEVs though, that'd be very much surprising. Okay. It's so frustrating too, because I feel like a lot of these situations in TVT, we're not quite seeing it here, but for example, where games get screwed because the naturals denied it for so long, a lot of it's just because Terran has literally the worst way to build in the game. And I wonder like, if if you didn't have to actually dedicate an SV to the full duration of a building building, like, let's say built more along the lines of like a Protoss building, right? How different would this actually change the matchup? Like you would, you would no longer see five minute games. It just wouldn't be possible anymore. I don't think Hellion Reaper auto wins the same way it used to. Um, it definitely, our production has killed us in TVT far more than any other. <laughs> you can think about all the times that maybe the Protoss is a little bit late to their gateway production is not quite the same thing. Yeah. So there'd probably be quite a few, quite a bit fewer, like, oh, I lost an SCV, so I died because it was building my factory and he reaper rushed me. <laughs> Games. That's interesting. Well, this Metavex is already kind of low, so its chance of doing a lot of damage is also low. Uh, the Wood of Mine might get a decent hit, and some of these SCVs are actually now one shot with a splash. Oh, almost locked into the Metavex long enough to kill it. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, it's gonna go down. That sucks. Uh, only three SCVs died for this as well. This has been a really excellent hold from Ryong, and Natural still has to make up for the damage taken earlier. Not by much, of course. He's down two SCVs, four army supply. It's really not so much of a big deal, and he even has a faster third CC, so that in itself is probably where he's gonna be made up here. But I don't know if he thought Ryong was gonna go for a Banshee. He scouted initially that he wasn't. You know, saw the Viking being produced, no tech lab. 
But I'm not sure this drop or this liberator. Oh, is it what am I? Anyway, I also got a liberator. There it is. Um, has seen the the, the starport. It did. Okay, good. But the banshee's already here, so <laughs> okay. This is bad. He doesn't have an engineer bay. This might be the game. Of course, uh, reminder that really he's already up one zero. Eight so seconds. the banshee just moves his game out. That's the whole series. He is not. He does not have a scan. He only has one scan too, and that I think is gonna be game. Oh, he's the lack losing of so much. Both locations. He didn't realize that he had scouted a tech lab, I think, on the starport. You know, he scouted it once, thought, okay, no Banshee, and then didn't really pay attention to the secondary scout. That's game. Uh, this Banshee is not even going to be taken out. Liberator, please, your single target damage is terrible! <laughs> Feels okay. bad. 20 SCVs dead, 23 remaining. SCV still. Yo, the engineer is never gonna get a chance to finish. That's what feels the worst about this. Like, if the turret was still like 90% complete, you sacrifice countless SCVs into that much, but. Ah, uh, there's no rave. Actually, you know what? The rave would be the only way to do this. He'd have to swap that tech lab and that starport. Yeah. But he's not doing it. It's too far gone now. There's another scan goes down. Keep in mind, each of these scans was meant to be a mule to band aid the losses that he just suffered. The Liberator on the other side of the map gets caught immediately. Cyclone doesn't oh. quite get that last hit, but there's no way Natural gets that in there with a the Viking floating around. So, 44 workers to 29. Three command centers. I want to I want to believe in the power of mules, but in a TVT like this, I think Ryung, as long as he doesn't give Natural breathing room, Ryung should still be able to suffocate him. In fact, two tanks can be able to do precisely that. Natural hadn't started his stim or combat shields, by the way, and he wanted to start Ooh. both at the same time. This medevac has actually got the army inside of it, and it unloads in a weird spot. Well, this is not a bad counter drop, getting into the dead zone of Young's tanks. Might lose the Viking no, as well. Baited. No, no, not with the tanks having something to say about it. Baited and outplayed. Kind of. <laughs> I'm a siren. This is... Oh, God. This is <laughs> kind of the... That's explaining this entire game, though. Like, you gotta bait them with the lack of a Banshee scout. Made him think that it was safe against Banshees, and then baited him with the tanks. That's that's his army. That's his SCVs. Natural does not want to lose like this. Oh, I love that pickup out of Ryung, too. He messed it up there at the very end, and ends up losing both tanks when he shouldn't have. <laughs> the first pickup was good. He should have just left the second one down to shoot, but he panicked. He absolutely panicked. Uh, while this goes on, he does move that third CC over. He's going to have a lot of money. In fact, 2,700 minerals per minute to the barely 1,100 of natural. That is, that is an entire production cycle over his opponent. Like the graph. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad game for natural, but he doesn't want to. I really feel like he doesn't want to tap out. Not just because he's going to lose, but because like, it's, this is the game that's got to be cast, you know? The, ga the last game had to go on for at least 10 minutes. So I feel like that would have been probably a more even game because we had two games and they're one. Yeah. But this is the one that we get to cast, the one where he loses 20 workers to a banshee. Whoops, sorry. By the way, uh, Mirror1989 summarizes it pretty well in chat. I very much enjoy watching TVD, but playing it is a nightmare. And I've, I've felt that way through this entire expansion so far. I have I actually liked... TVD and HOTS. I really don't no, like God, it in no. Legacy. Oh, I'm so terrible at TVD and HOTS. I like it a lot more in Legacy when I don't get Reaper rushed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you had trouble with Reapers for a while. I remember you were complaining about, like, how do I deal with it? Oh, still have trouble? Okay, my bad. Like, you're just like, I yeah. don't know how to deal with this. And I'm I really like, hate really? Because this is so easy. I really hate it. Because it's it's not the uh, initial attack that does it in for me anymore. It's like, well, certainly they won't be making like more Reapers. I'm already defended. And then they come in like 20 Reapers on my Banshee layers out of the map. And I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> I really wish Archon mode was still a thing. Because I feel like you and I, again, we, we have such different um, takes on the matchups. Like, we both play every every matchup very differently. And, that's that's the game where I really loved Archon mode. You know, you would cover my weaknesses, I would cover yours. Sometimes we would cause problems, but whatever. At the end of the day, like it, it is so weird because Zombie is without a doubt objectively the better player between the two of us. But things like that, I'm so much better at dealing with for whatever reason. Like question mark. Like I don't, there's no real good reason for why. Because you do it. I guess because yeah, I do it. I know the weaknesses it. of it. I know how to <laughs> stop it exactly. It does seem to be in line. If you play weird, you play better against weird people. If you play cheesy, you play better against cheesy people. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, again, like, everyone always asks, like, can we see Rifkin versus Zombie Grab? Like, and it just, it would always be a terrible a matchup. Unrepresentative matchup, yeah. And we've done this, <laughs> we've played, like, at least three best of threes over the years at per the viewer request, and they always go the same way, like, ends up just being a bit of a shit show one way or the other. <laughs> 
only time I ever enjoyed it was that when I cheesed you on that one terrible map. When you were like, any map's fine. I was like, ha ha ha. Yeah, I, my favorite was when we just decided game three said fuck it and pulled the SUVs to the middle. That was not my move. favorite. Because that was that was when it had the bug. If you alt tabbed back into the game, it would let you control yeah. anything. So I literally didn't start an SUV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same. That, that sounds like a macro mistake to me. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, GG's get caught. Ryan finally locks down this game that he had won so long ago. And we'll move on to the semifinals. Woo! Now, I'm guaranteeing you, Ryung wishes like his side of the bracket was flipped around because he'd much rather be playing against Sue than either Super or Creator. Oh my God, Sue or Super in the finals could be great. But it's just a Super. The, the first semifinal match ready to go is Sue versus Gumiho. That's going to be a TVZ. That's going to be a best of three. It kicks off on King Sejong Station and. We're going to hit up a small break while that gets ready. It may turn into a little bit of a longer break if the Korean stream needs a break too, because they tend to take longer breaks than us. So one way or the other, we'll be back. And when we come back, semifinals matches begin. So stay tuned, guys.